Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking about everyone's favorite gaming group, Lizard Squad, their recent attacks on the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live, and if us users should be compensated or paid back in a way for all the troubles and all the downtime that's gone on on these gaming services. So again, if you do like videos like this, I definitely recommend you hit that subscribe button. I do daily GTA 5 videos, and I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of my future content. So let's get started. So just a quick recap. I'm sure you guys all know what's up. But basically, over the past two or three months, Lizard Squad has been doing DDoS attacks and taking down Xbox Live and PlayStation Network for sometimes hours, sometimes minutes. And on yesterday, on Christmas Day, it was literally the entire day. I wasn't able to access PlayStation Network. I wasn't able to get on Xbox Live. When I'm making this video, it might be up right now. But anyways, it's been down and inconsistent pretty much all day. And for the past few months, it's been on and off during certain attacks. So today, I wanted to talk about the idea of getting paid back or compensated as users who have bought and purchased a product that isn't working correctly. For those of you guys who are obviously unaware, you guys have to pay for Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus in order to play multiplayer games. I believe it's like five bucks a month. And as someone who pays, I expect that service to work. Now, I understand there's going to be maintenance and downtime where they're fixing problems or giving us updates, and that's all cool. You know, I'm all for getting updates and, and, and new IPs and new things that are added to our game. But when a third third party group like Lizard Squad is able to completely disable and shut down my gaming experience, you know, I don't think that's cool. You know, that's kind of unfair in my eyes. Now, when I made a Lizard Squad video a while back, I talked about, is this Microsoft's and Sony's fault? You know, is it their fault for not having servers and services that can withstand these attacks? And I read a great comment, and I believe the comment was something along the lines of, like, you can't blame a girl who wears, you know, kind of iffy clothing that shows a lot of skin for being raped. Because at the end of the day, it is still the, I guess, rapers, like, action of doing it. And the same analysis, although it's kind of a weird one, can for the Xbox Live and PlayStation Network attacks on uh, by Lizard Squad. You know, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network have some vulnerabilities, kind of like wearing, you know, not a more revealing clothing. I guess you could say that's the vulnerability. But at the end of the day, it is still Lizard Squad who is doing the attack or the attacker who is attacking whatever. So Xbox Live and PlayStation Network cannot be blamed for this but, uh, you know, I'm just so torn because I don't know what to think. Because at the end of the day, it is Lizard Squad doing the attacks. Xbox Live isn't holding up a sign saying, you know, please attack me right now. You know, I really want to be attacked. You know, what can you do to hurt me more? So I don't think it's fair to put the blame on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. But they certainly need to look into what they can do in the future to try to fix it. Now, I definitely think some compensation like this would be cool. And it's something that we have seen in the past as well. I remember when I first got my Xbox 360. It went down just due to traffic overload on Christmas Day, and Xbox Live kind of gave us a free game. I think it was called like Aegis Wing or something along those lines. So it was a pretty cool free game, and I think that they should do something along the lines of that. Or they should give us a free month, or you know, a couple months of PlayStation Plus, maybe a free game here or there. I think something just to compensate us would be awesome because you know the last two or three months have been kind of dicey in terms of gaming. And as a YouTube content creator, if something like this were to happen when you know new content came out, or you know there was a DLC that I wanted to cover you know i kind of be screwed i wouldn't be able to give you guys uh new content in future videos so it puts me in a tough situation it puts casual gamers hardcore gamers in a very tough situation so i definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below a what do you think of lizard squad and this attack do you think it's xbox live and playstation network's fault do you think they should do something to beef up their security or at the end of the day is it the quote-unquote rapers fault or you know lizard squad in this case for doing these attacks and for not being uh you know so negligent to xbox live and playstation Network. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.